he can get crazy. But for some reason, that is a monster. There's one right here. He's running, running down the street. Let's yes. head him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach. Kessler. Look at this fish. Get him up. I don't know if you guys can see this, but Jordan and I were just chilling out, looking for things to do, wasting time. Check this out. Oh, oh, oh. There's baby Placos all over this thing. Placos everywhere. There's one right here. I just tried to grab them. Can you see them right here? Right there? You can see that? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to try to grab it. I might be able to just use this to catch it. Actually, I'm going to go downstream with it. Okay. There's baby Placos that swam up. As you guys know, Placos very, they dig holes. Uh oh, almost in there. Come on, get in there. All right. Oh, he swam past me. Right here. Gonna keep that for observation then. Cause he swam past it. So check him out right here. Right here. I almost got him. Got him. <laughs> Look at this thing! Look at this thing! Look at the size of that thing! <laughs> Look at that thing is nothing. I'm gonna put him in here. That is ridiculous. Now there's a bunch of them, they're all over the place. I'm gonna keep this guy in the shade. Hopefully I don't kick him over. There's a bunch of them. All, all in and out of here. Now we scared a lot of them, but I did notice here and there that there are Placos literally in this stream. In the faster water, it's hard to see them. They go up and down. They go all the way up the stream, like from here. There's a bunch of little fish over there. I'm gonna try to scoop some of those up. There's a bunch of little fluorescent mollies and so you can't see them it's just it's a glare but that's why those peacocks are sitting there because they're smashing them let's see there's got to be another one we saw like 15 of these things so there's one right here right here in the flow in a little bit of a deep pocket can you see him right here he's so well camouflaged right here right in the center yeah can you see that thing you can see him oh oh Okay, he's looking for somewhere to hide. He's running, running down the street. I don't know where he went. Did he keep going? I saw that move. They're fast. I told you. These guys are fast. He's under that leaf right in Oh, here he is. Yeah, right here. Right here. Ah! Oh, I, met, I almost had him. You see him? He's right here before, before he dodges me and is gone forever. See him? Right here. We caught one already. Oh, there he is in the shallows. Right here. Yep. Come on. Did I get him? Got him. <laughs> got him. Oh my goodness. These little Placos summertime. Oh, another one just ran by. <laughs> These summertime Placos, they breed all throughout Florida. And they breed in little holes. So they dig out holes. There's holes all on the sides of every pond, every stream, everywhere you can think of. And they get this small. Zoom into that if you can. Look at that. Let me know if it's focused. Because that thing, that's going to be a tough focus. You got it? Look at that little tiny Placo. Ridiculous how small that thing is. So we caught two of them. I don't see any right now off, off the with my eyes, but I do see two of these guys. We're gonna use these to observe. And what we'll do is since we are going out of town, these guys, let me get some more water in here. Luckily we have plenty of water. That is so cool, the ecosystem that we're making. <laughs> we're really making a little ecosystem. The, the Placos, what they do is they follow running water. So do tilapia, most of these invasive fish do. They follow upstream. So any type of flowing water, any water movement, you're gonna see fish that have low oxygen, like that they can survive on low oxygen, run upstream all the time. I always see it. That's what we were catching when our yard was flooded. I have a video of that not too long ago. But what these fish are doing, they're all literally migrating upstream like salmon. So they're just running up this creek, 
And then there's obviously a dead end because they can't climb into our pond because it ends right here with the exit pipes. This is so sick. So cool. Let's go ahead and put these bad boys away while we're waiting to see if that trap does anything. I still haven't seen any of the cichlids back and forth. I saw a couple little ones. They look, they look, we might get them, we might get them. Can you guys see how beautiful these fish are? This is cool. So I had this idea to put a, put whatever we caught today in this little like plastic vase thing, vase, vase, vase. <laughs> but these are so sick. It almost looks like they're two different species, but I think they're both Florida Placos. This one to the left though, it looks like a, looks like a, like a leopard kind of, but they're both the exact same size. So I think they might be the same Placo. This might just have really, really cool patterns. I have no idea to be honest with you, but there's so many Placos. I've caught so many different species down here in South Florida. I mean, look at the size of this pond by itself. Imagine somebody released that giant half breed catfish who knows how many years ago. I had a neighbor telling me that it was released like 15 years ago by a crazy guy, but <laughs> who knows everyone. <laughs> Only God knows. But what we're gonna do is since nothing can get out of this pond, I'm gonna keep these guys. So just in case this pump shuts off, even though we have two pumps, we got the electrician going. We're gonna see if we can grow these guys out from these little nuggets. Little nuggets. Come here, little nugget. Look at the size of that little nugget. That thing is so cute. They're so cute when they're little. I'm gonna go ahead and release them. Boop. One more. One more little nugget. <laughs> this is so cool. So look at their mouths. Even when they're little, they look so creepy like leeches. Can you see that? Like little leeches just sucking. <laughs> I bet this dude wouldn't have a hard time finding a girlfriend. Goodbye. <laughs> Check out what these guys grow into. I'm gonna go see if I can sneak up. Actually, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Look at the giant. Actually, we can go all the way. Come on, come on, come on. He's sitting right there, perched up for us. Look, zoom in right there to the to the um step. See that thing? Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> anyway, they grow to be that big. So hopefully they get to be that big in here because we're going to need some help. Even though there's no direct sunlight, it's always covered. The algae does come in. All right, guys, we're going to scoop up some of these minnows. These peacocks are slamming these minnows right here. There's a bunch of glass minnows right here and bluegill. Check this out. This is solid food for our guys. Check this out. One, two, three. Ooh, look at that one. Look at the colors on this thing. These are pretty. How many do we get? Got a nice handful. But these are actually... <laughs> They're actually kind of pretty. There's a couple with the red tail, but these just solid minnows. Beautiful. That is beautiful, actually. Magnificent. This is actually has a little bit of a tail too. These are pretty fish. But these will be perfect food. They're gonna breed until they start eating all those pellets. Hopefully we have a nice little breeding population of these guys. There's already one in the lake. That is so cool. Let me see if make sure I got all of them. Oh, there's one more in here. That's a rock. <laughs> Solid. These are all breeders. Fat ones. They probably already have babies in them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them and just give them a toss. Come on. And say goodbye. Fish flakes. So those guys, we're gonna keep on scooping them over and over. 
you guys can see those peacocks are smashing them the bluegill are smashing them every <laughs> the fish actually followed me back and forth but everything back here is flourishing but we do have a surprise in this pond we're gonna give it a day there's something big in here all right guys so i have amazing amazing news i didn't think it was possible all of my paku died like most of them but not all of them so the most like the hardest one to come by which i got from joey actually i'm gonna, I'm gonna start feeding these fish but one of them survived so let me show you guys really quick but before we get into all this i'm gonna start feeding these guys we actually have a new neighbor too that's a little shrek like if you guys see him over there it's literally Shrek's partner moved in right next to us. I don't know if you guys can see that big boy. He's actually really small. Now, that's just a mini donkey. And what we're going to do here, we have a big audience down here. Check, check this out. Come right over here where I'm standing. Look right here in the shallow water. Can you see straight down? Straight down. Hello, everyone. I'm just going to give them some food. Let them wake up. Hello, everybody. Okay, guys. So... I'm gonna throw out some food over here. Everyone's just, everyone's gonna eat today. There's a couple big peacocks. There's all types of giant stuff, snapping turtles. I've been seeing so much. I was out here sulking and just feeding the fish, doing my thing right after I thought I took out all the Paku. And then, you know, I was pretty distressed. I was like, oh my gosh, like I lost everything, thinking everything was dead. And I go back one more time. Some just told me to go back and look. There was one Paku, the Tambaki is still alive. Now look, 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 come over here really quick. It looks like a, come right, right here. Look at this guy, look straight down. See that peacock bass? Yeah, right there. See that guy? Look at all these guys. Everyone is just having the time of their lives out here. It's so funny. But yeah, all right guys, we have to check this out. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. You know, let me get my net really quick. So, the Tambaki it must have some type of survival I don't know why this thing survived, but for some reason, this thing outlasted all of the Paku. So those Paku are like a hybrid species. Everybody knows in the fish world that these are just like giant piranha, but these are bones. Check this out. There's nothing left. Like this is the skull of one of the Paku. And this thing, that thing is scary, you know? Like I'm trying to keep the skulls and make it pretty cool. That's a scary, that's a big fish. Look at the teeth on that. Some of the teeth fall, fell out. That's a monster, right? That, that is a monster. But unfortunately, you know, we lost our fish. But I'm checking it out. I'm looking at everything. I'm feeding the fish out of the time of my life. And come on, one of them survived. I don't know how it outlasted the rest though. That's the thing that's confusing to me. Now, I've never had a just pure blood Tambaki before, and my Joey's fish actually pretty much just off the seas too. We had this huge lightning storm, it zapped some of our stuff, but it's just been lightning storm after lightning storm. I had an electrician come in, I redid all the wiring, I got two new outlets, and he just said, you know, it is what it is, there's nothing I could have done. The only thing that I could possibly do is run a wire that comes all the way out to these ponds to make it a little bit more safe, but you know, things just happen and there's nothing I could have could have done. But this one fish survived, out survived all of those Paku. Now, those big fish require a lot of oxygen. And while I'm out of town, I usually have someone in there every single day making sure they're okay. But even to have something like this happen while I'm in town, you know, mistakes happen. But this guy survived. Check this out. Where are you? Where are you? so happy he's hiding somewhere i didn't see him initially the first time either where are you buddy he's somewhere in the shade i don't know i literally did not see this fish at all the first time and once again i don't see him i know he's in here Somewhere. Oh, here he is. This, this guy is a little bit, it's like a it's light green. And as you can see, this this is very, this is a light green area. I, <laughs> I am so happy he survived. Hold on, guys. This is going to be a little tough. Here he is. I can see him now. 
All right. All right. Now he's growing. He's grown. He's grown at least, I'd say, three inches since I've had him. I've only had him a few months. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here. He's in the net right now. He's not as crazy as the other fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. But he can, he can, be, <laughs> he can get crazy. But for some reason, for some reason, this species is just not as crazy. So I'm going to leave him right there in the net for just a moment. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this up. But for some reason, that fish survived. And that fish is very, very hard to come by. To grow out to that size, it's hard to come by. Like that's the only fish that survived that one and another fish. Joey had two of them. He kept one. I kept one. They both survived. <laughs> Mr. Donkey. <laughs> he doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> but our fish are very in tune. They're so happy. I spent a lot of time with them. There's literally peacocks lined around my backyard. Come on over here. I'm going to show you something. Actually, let me take the camera for just a second, honey. You <laughs> can get this off me. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> so, guys, I wanted to show you this really quick because I never fish back here. Hello, my friend. These guys are literally like my friends back here now. There's one peacock pair, right? They're getting big. Hello, I'm sorry for disturbing you, sir. There's a lot of fish. Two peacock pair. What happened? Oh, I'm feed the, I'll feed the duck in a minute. So we have all these fish, obviously the gar, stuff like that, that come around that have been with me a while. All the line of the pocket remind me of my failures. <laughs> Three peacock pair, four peacock pair, five peacock pair. Like these guys are everywhere. Six peacock pair, I don't want to go too close to those. Six peacock pair, they'll probably run because they're in super shallow water, but let's see. Not today, not today six peacock pair right back here oh no there's another pair i'm gonna redo this too guys it's gonna be really really sick i'm excited about it this is gonna be sick i think we're gonna make it like glass rocks so this should end up being really cool oh you're getting maddied soon <laughs> seven peacock pair guys seven freaking peacock pairs out here in the summertime in south florida since we haven't been fishing over here and I've been feeding all the fish, there's a lot of bluegill, a lot of forage back here, a lot of cichlids. And now, what? There's a bird back here. Actually, yeah, you're right. This bird eats peacock pears. We don't like you. We will never see you again, sir. That is our enemy. Good eye, proud of you. Aside from that bird, hopefully all these little peacock pears are doing so well. <laughs> Look at him, he's about to eat something right now. <laughs> eat your toes, watch out, you stick your toes in there, they'll get you. I promise you, peacocks are aggressive. All right, now I gotta fill this thing up with water. Make sure he's okay. You're good, sir. Yes, he's ready to go. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to show you him. I'm gonna show you a picture of this guy. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give you the camera <laughs> just for a minute. But I wanted to take a peek at everything down here because everything is literally, literally mingling down here. They're all friends and it's it's almost weird to watch. Look at that peacock literally just aired out. Mr. Mr. Whoa. Oh look, he's eating the minnows right now. Smashing minnows right now. We're about to see like National Geographic. Look at this guy. Smashing them. Him and another peacock and a bluegill. When have you how how many times have you seen that? They're all just friends. Doing good. And Mr. Duck. Let's see what we can see over here. Come on, come to the surface. Come on, come to the surface. Look at this, see this guy? See that tilapia? I tried to zoom into him, but he actually got hit by that, by an egret or by that, uh, what's it called, snake bird. And he has a big old gash on the top of him. <laughs> Everybody eats over here. Well, there he is, there he is. This guy's a survivor. I'm trying to show you guys the, the big old gash on the back side of this thing. That thing is a survivor. It's a monster, unlike this duck. This duck is just a really friendly, plump duck. Got our handy dandy bucket. I'm gonna fill this bad boy with some water. I think I'm just gonna go. I don't wanna disturb the fish while they're eating. But there's fish lining everywhere, it's tough. Am I missing a wheel here? Is there a wheel? <laughs> Is 
just fish everywhere. What is this? There's another another peacock down here. It just it's hard to get away from. Looking straight down to the left. See this guy? I just don't want to disturb anyone. So I normally have a fish babysitter come around when I'm going out to the swamp or doing something for TV history channel and stuff. But since I lost all those fish, I'm only gonna have one. I'm just gonna take that one Paku, which is not as aggressive as the other Paku. That species, for some reason, is just like a, a more like a plant eater than the rest. The other ones are kind of like, you know, they're known for like nut biters and stuff. So, but that species just does really well with fish. It does a lot better than the normal Paku, which you guys know will tear up a koi and do bad things to all sorts of fish. But we're gonna pay attention to it. We're gonna see how the species act. We do know that it's a lot hardier than the other Paku. Obviously, the other Paku are sitting right there in the grass. Look at those things. They're not doing too well, you know? So the tear is clear and you get back to work. But this is the fish right here. I'm gonna take this bad boy out. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You're all right. You're all right. Well, I'll just out. Get the crap out. Oh. Okay. You stay right there. You stay right there. That thing almost knocked me out. I want to take a quick. Actually, I'm going to show you guys when we transfer him over to the other pond. I'm not going to lift him out right here because he just, I got to see if I have a concussion. He just smacked the crap out of me with this net right now. The cat food hasn't drawn anything up that I've seen that's like, wow, I really want to catch that. So, so far, so good though. Come on over here, guys. Once again, I want to stress going to the gym. Let's see this guy in the, before the, it gets dark and we move. Come on, check this out. Check this out. Look at the size of this thing. Look at this beautiful little dark. We're just gonna wait. We don't want to stress him out. The water's actually a lot warmer than I thought. Go to the gym. Please go to the gym if you want to handle these big fish. I don't want you guys at home to be trying this and lose your tiny infant biceps. No, I'm kidding. Love you guys. Appreciate you. We're gonna bring this fish over to my mom's right now. Let's go. You guys, here we are back. Easiest fish transport ever after moving all those Paku to their eventual grave because I failed them all with a nice little bit of Zeus's help and lightning and destroying everything I own. At the same time, goodbye wheels. We don't need those wheels. <laughs> We're gonna measure this fish. The grass is nice and high here. Let's just do it right here and then walk them on over. So check this out, guys. Look at this beautiful fish now. This thing is very unique and its coloration compared to other Paku. So we're gonna just put that measuring tape near it. We're just gonna do a zipperoo together. Okay, let's put it right there. Make it easy for you guys to see at home. Come on, perfect, cool. So let's do the math together. Look at this guy. Ooh, look at the patterns on that beautiful fish. Okay, check this out. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, don't hit your head. Don't hit your head. Okay. So let's see. Ooh. Ow. Don't smack me. Ow. Just ask nicely. Let's do it. Let's see. We are at exactly two feet. Exactly two feet here. This is a beautiful fish. Come with me, sir, please. But this guy has different teeth. Check out this type of fish. Look, zoom into his teeth. Oh, oh, zoom into his teeth. Unlike the other Tambaki. Ow! Paku hybrids. Relax, please. This guy's teeth are not quite as messed up. Actually, these are pretty. Actually, those are those are scary. <laughs> they have two teeth behind their first row that look like Dracula teeth, actually. That is nuts, <laughs> I take it back. But for some reason, those teeth, even though they're more aggressive, that uh, they don't chew on fish as much. I think they're just nut cracking teeth. And hopefully I don't go in there without the waders and then, you know, it is what it is, but come on. I don't think Jordan behind the camera would be happy about that either. But beautiful fish. This was bright red the other day. Ooh. You know what? 
We're just going to move that guy now that we measured him. Come on, let's go. Now check this out. So everyone has been thriving. We're going to put them in really quick and then we're going to see the rest of the fish. Okay, you guys ready? Come on, don't splash me, don't splash me. Oh, check this out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this beauty. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> right back to where he was. Now, uh, everyone in here is absolutely stretched out, happy as can be. I want you guys to see him. Hello, cutie. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have our arowanas now. Every type of catfish we've ever owned. That big boy nugget is doing great. Monster, a monster. And the koi silver. We have gold, literally 24 karat gold. It's harder to see. Oh, thank you for going somewhere we could see you. 24 karat gold koi, the silver koi, and that is the tambaki purebred right there doing good he's going to be able to live in here and thrive without chewing on anyone's tail look at the size of this pure tiger that thing is going to be massive and hopefully everything is okay here they're nice and tucked away between these two houses they're very close to the house they have one port that's right there bum beautiful women right next to the fish that make them happy including my beautiful mother who checks on these guys like four times a day so these are going to be chilling right here with the recirculating pump very happy to see everyone here and like i said this is 18 by uh sorry this is 9 by 18 feet long this is a massive body of water and fresh water from the lake making sure that all these fish are a-okay with a very high wall so they do not jump out they cannot jump out Oops, sorry about that beautiful did i just break your leg <laughs> but yeah and all these guys are doing great even the ones that we just got from our friend are doing phenomenal whiskers super long everyone's super happy golden literally guys literally glowing so it's nice to see everyone the albinos all of the everyone's still alive <laughs> it's nice to see everyone actually still alive on this end and our beautiful arowanas we grew out from literally this big now they grow out to be that big to see them just become giants and look at this arowana we rescued from our friend that was 10 inches was in a little fish tank and now these guys are literally feet long feet long comes up eats right out of your hand magnificent and now our little tambaki is in there with the two koi we got from Fitz koi ponds it's fish ponds magnificent hope you're happy in there with everybody happy day we saved the fish thank you so much beautiful for helping us jordan thank you and catch them all catch them all Woo! catch them all